this woman is on a diet, but she's eating full meal, yet she can lose as much weight with today's new way to diet. <laughs> okay, there's editing for this. <laughs> Hi, gang. Welcome to the channel if you're new. Welcome back if you've been here before. Today's video is a grocery haul and a meal prep. This is Gareth. <laughs> I know nothing about anything healthy, so here we go. We're going to learn some stuff today, and I'm really excited. <laughs> Here's on the challenge. is a challenge for ridding the gut of all its bacteria, dropping water retention, losing excess weight, balancing hormones, sugar detox, and a bunch of other things. We have no idea what we're getting, but that's the fun of it. All right. so... We didn't plan that. Okay, we'll get, we got this. This is fine. <laughs> Pick the breasts. I feel like if I'm going to have to make them big and fluffy, right? But... <laughs> Single-use plastics are bad. They are. They're really bad. What they do you them. recommend instead? I, like any color. I mostly like red. <laughs> I, meant, I meant for the bag. I mostly like red. Yeah, greens are not that appetizing. No. no. Red is my favorite. But like four? Yeah. This is yeah. like a week, right? Yeah, because, uh, yeah. We'll do pepper math later, but yeah. How do you know when an avocado is ripe? <laughs> you, can, you can kind of push it. You don't want to push too deep, though, just because it's going to obviously bruise it and make it weird. But it has, it's definitely firm, but you, it, it indents a little bit. All right. Grocery haul is done. That was fun. We're back in the kitchen to talk about everything we got and why. Here we are. I was, we had a great time at the grocery store. Um, I've never bought more healthier food in my life. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Why are you doing the challenge? I have definitely been eating healthier and I, I do go to the gym four times a week and I work out quite regularly. Um, and this is sort of just a final push to feel like the best me I can be. That's wicked. So we're gonna talk about what we got. Green apples, because of gut bacteria, any other apple feeds candida, which is overgrowth of bad gut bacteria. Baby carrots are allowed because although they do have sugar and are on the GI index, their antifungal properties outweigh the sugar content. Cumin melts fat. Cumin seeds are loaded with a lot of nutritional values, which boosts metabolism and helps in removing Excess fat. It also helps in digestion and reduces stomach pain. This is gluten free soy sauce, unsweetened cashew milk. A lot of this is for chicken fajita rice bowls that are going to be made. Goat yogurt, because cow yogurt tends to cause water retention. Goat yogurt, we have a much closer protein strain to goats than we do with cows, so it's way nicer inside the body. Coconut oil in a spray, cause come on, it's easier. Nutritional yeast, that is just like Parmesan cheese. Everyone wants cheesy taste, but not allowed on the challenge. Quinoa, way much more protein than is in rice. Six grams of protein for a quarter cup, same exact protein as one egg. It is possible to find spaghetti sauce or tomato sauce that does not contain sugar. If you look on the label of sauces and salsas in the store, a lot of them have unnecessary sugar. Avocados, garlic, spring mix, baby spinach, green onion, all natural almond butter. Ingredients, dry roasted almonds. That is amazing just almonds this is a very good for you gluten-free microwavable packets very handy i tend to use a kettle i'm not a huge fan of the microwave but you can use kettle water with these as well packets that you can take to work and such way way healthier for you than those quaker maple brown sugar shenanigans mary's organic crackers they come in herb black pepper they also have an original flavor these are amazing amazingly delicious so good for you gluten-free incredibly filling you can put cream cheese on them daya has a great dairy-free cream cheese that you can't tell the difference between i don't like to use daya regular cheese because it's gross and it doesn't melt and it's just not cheese chicken are you ready to yeah. cook? Here, let's cook. I'm ready. 
<laughs> okay, so we're making chicken fajita bowls. Yeah, I'd like 6,000 chicken fajitas, please. I beg your pardon? Uh, 6,000 chicken fajitas. It's not my recipe. I found it online, and I have linked the recipe below for you. Okay, so anti-inflammatory, allergen-friendly, gluten-free, sugar-free, candida-friendly. It's gonna drop the water retention and lean you out and make you healthy and help with the sugar detox and all of the other amazing benefits. So, we are ready to start cooking. Here we go. We need pans and stuff, though, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're cooking <laughs> Oh, you're putting it in the oven? Are we, are we frying anything or sauteing? A large skillet over, well, but we're not ready though. Right? We have to chop everything, but we're putting them into things, yes? We have bowls? A container. <laughs> Don't look at my stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I want it, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Just close that. Now I know it's there though. <laughs> We're really gonna bring it down to earth. Okay. All uh, right. So we have containers to put stuff in. <laughs> Get a grip. Which look amazing, I might add. Right? Your eyelashes look fantastic. I was queuing you up there to compliment my eyebrows. Mine don't exist, so no one else exists. <laughs> Okay, directions. Large skillet, medium high heat, add a tablespoon of oil. <laughs> we got this, honey. We can do it. We got it. There you go. <laughs> I'm just gonna slice. Slicing peppers. All the things you've been through in life, would you have thought we'd be here? No. <laughs> right? I wouldn't imagine go more than that. I wouldn't go more than that. Yeah. That's like really tough. I'll have an onion puree. We can do, we should do once a week. We should do a cooking Oh my one. god, a cooking right? show. And we just hang out on non-challenge week. We can drink some wine. That's amazing. Right? That's an amazing idea. New segment. Cooking with Gareth and Kelly. Right? We may have some wine, but it will be healthy food. <laughs> Okay, so we're making homemade fajita seasoning. Much like homemade taco seasoning, I'm not sure what's quite different, but you don't have to buy all the chemically crap packet of fajita seasoning, you can make it at home. So this is going to be one tablespoon of chili powder, one teaspoon of cumin powder, and then one teaspoon of garlic powder, one <laughs> teaspoon of paprika, and one teaspoon of oregano, two teaspoons of onion powder. <laughs> two. There we go. And then we need a lid. No, oh, we, we need, need one lid teaspoon of salt. Um, so, a teaspoon, yeah? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering and glad I wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna take all day. Yeah. Just eyeball it. Okay. Well, that makes such a mess. I don't okay. know. I don't know how you're gonna eyeball it. Just. <laughs> okay. That's gonna that's be good. salty. Oh, it's fine. It's healthy so, salt. No, it's there's so many other spices in there that wasn't a substantial amount of salt to make anything salty. Um, we should have grabbed a lid though to shake it all up. <laughs> oh no, it's going oh, everywhere! Shit. The lid doesn't fit! The lid doesn't fit. It's okay, we did it. Yeah, that looks good. <gasps> Look how fancy that is! Right? Winner! Gagnon! Okay, there we go. We did the <laughs> seasoning. Okay, what's next? Yay! See, I have... Look at my try step. Look at that. I never had that before. So I'll tell you the peppers and onions until softened. About five minutes. Add garlic. Okay, so... Oh, I smell those onions. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Whenever you get like smelly candles, I always go with like, I don't know, the big ones, like linen or like, I don't know. Linen? Know. Yeah. <laughs> I love the smell of linen. Fresh linen? <laughs> I'm not crazy. It's like the way you described, like, go with the big ones, like linen. <laughs> like linen. <laughs> <It's not> so, <laughs> I mean, it's better than the, this doesn't smell like waffle cone. There we go. Yes, saute, saute, saute. Saute away, saute you stay, saute away, sachet away. Rubal, come on. It does specify thinly sliced. 
Okay, so normally you're supposed to toss the chicken in the seasoning, but because we just live life our own ways, we're gonna put the seasoning on the chicken in the pan. Quinoa is cooked, peppers and onions are sauteed, just toss it in. Chicken is looking amazing. This recipe, linked below, says it makes enough for two to four people. Look how much food this is. That's a random plate of peppers. That is a ton of food, which is great, but definitely would feed at least three, I think. Three comfortably for people that aren't so hungry. <laughs> oh, it looks so good, look at me. <laughs> you gotta put this up a little bit. It won't. Well, how are we gonna do this? We just gonna <laughs> crouch down like this. <laughs> <laughs> Over the face? Like, what do kids do these days? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can just bring it in. Do our faces have to be in there? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. So that's it. That was the chicken fajita bowls with guest Gareth. Please hit that subscribe button down below so you have somewhere to come back to to see all of the future videos. If you would like notifications of each time I post a new video, please hit that little bell notification icon and you will be sent a notification each time a new one is posted. Please hit that thumbs up for me down there if you thought this video was helpful, informative, or entertaining at all. That really does help support my channel. And until next time, have super amounts of fun in your life and have super amounts of fun doing healthy things with other people. Gareth will be back. We are gonna try Orange Theory Fitness. We're gonna try rock climbing. We're gonna make chocolate cakes, some more fun recipes, and just do a bunch of fun, healthy things together. It is important to have friends that share a healthy lifestyle as well. So until next time, I'll see you then. Bye.